welcome back to some more Pokemon Moon! In the last episode, we spent most of our time trying to get to the next trial, and we also had our first encounter with Guzma, but it wasn't really all that important. I mean, Guzma isn't relevant. I mean, he's irrelevant to me. It doesn't, he doesn't really matter to me is what I'm trying to say. But you know what matters to me? The Aether House, where Pokemon and people huddle together apparently. But I'm not really buying it. I'm sure something crazy is about to happen, something intense. What? Do you guys see that Orin Guru back? What is going on? Wait up, John. So, this is the Ether House, eh? Strangers! What are those two kids doing with a young goose? This means battle! What? Why? We'll protect our home when Ace Rolla is away. Ace Rolla? Alright, I'm so confused. I'm. So, I'm at the Ether House. And I'm still not sure the Ether House has anything to do with the Ether Foundation, but it would make sense because I just saw an Oranguru and the Ether Foundation apparently takes care of Pokemon, so it all clicks, except for the fact that Ace Rolla is here. And uh, my Primarina is paralyzed and very low health. Oh my god, okay. Alright, hold on. We're gonna continue talking about this as soon as I get my whole battle, uh figure it out because I'm definitely not losing to this guy that would be pretty embarrassing but what does Ace Rolla have to do with the Ether Foundation from what I've seen Ace Rolla looks like a captain and uh, you know she's not she's not gonna fool me right she's not fooling anybody she's a captain for sure but she's kinda playing it off like she's Lily's friend or something like that but I'm not buying it now Ace Rolla and these kids I, I don't know I'm going way too far into this Sort of like an analysis thing with these two kids. We're going to find out in a second what it is anyway, so I shouldn't get too far into this, but it just feels so weird to me. And Ace Rolla is also sort of mysterious. You! You! I'm sorry, you messed with me. What do you, what do you expect me to do? Honestly, in this situation, like, I have to, I have to do this. I tried really hard. I'm a kid, you know. I'm sorry. Phew, so I won, yeah? Then why is this little fellow still gnawing on me? It's a young goose, bro. What do you expect? I'm back, everybody! <laughs> Looks like I finished up my shopping spree right on time. You've already met everyone? Yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, we met alright. In battle, anyway. But hey, where's Lily? That's a good question. I left her with Hapu. They should be coming soon. Alright, so when are you gonna... Okay. So why don't we get those trials done first? You didn't know I'm the captain, right? It's so obvious. Look at your hair, girl. Come on. Look at how, how. Are you serious? How did you not know? Oh my god, and that sounds like a pun again. Wait, Rotom? Ace Rolla's trial is your next hurdle, bucko. Come on, Ooh, let's head outside, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you said, because you talk too fast. I can't tell what you say ever, because you're always talking so fast, Rotom. Can you calm down for a second? Zygarde cell right here, and this looks like a little, well, like a little boy, little girl's room. It's probably their room, honestly, but I don't understand why they're living here. That's so weird. And why is that orange guru looking outside? What is he looking at? So many questions and no answers. Some bunk beds, a wimp pod. Wait a minute. You know, when we battled Guzma, he had a Galissa pod or something like that. I feel like that's somehow linked to this, but then again, like I said, I might be looking too far into this. Ether Foundation, Team Skull, everything is just so... Ah. What do you think you're doing? Stop it! Stop it right now! For real, girl? Your bag was moving right in front of my eyes and I'm just supposed to ignore that? If you got some rare Pokemon in there, I'm gonna have to take it and make some cash. Even if it's not that rare of a Pokemon, I bet I could still get paid, yo! Hey! No, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. John! Now, I'm the one talking like Team Skull. Wait, <laughs> he's kind of rubbing off on me, the, the way that he's talking. Oh, so we're following that script, are we? A trainer dashes forward to save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna let you be the hero in this scene. You know what? You don't have to let me be the hero. I can be the hero without you letting me. And this is not about a hero thing. This is about a... Um, this is about kicking your face in basically and I'm saying it in a nice way right now because what you're about to experience is pure pain and suffering especially if you're gonna disrespect me by bringing out a drowsy 
What is wrong with you? Do you not? Okay. You don't think that I deserve more respect than that? Seriously. Actually, I don't deserve any respect at all with the team that I'm carrying right now. My team is, well, my Primarina, first of all, is paralyzed. And, um, my, I, I believe I have another Pokemon that is also, like, very low health. And my Primarina is also low health. And I'm running out of PP on my moves. So, it's not looking too good on that end. But, um, when you look at this Drowsy, you know, when I compare myself to this Drowsy and to this Team Skull Grunt, I am in a good spot right now. <laughs> I'm not even worried about anything, right? Look at this. Why do I even have to battle these guys? And I didn't even read what he had to say, but it's not like it's relevant. You're irrelevant, just like Guzma. Just like your boss. Your big boss, apparently. When I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me. Later. Huh? That was your drow- Bro. What? What are you saying to me? Phew. Thank you, John. I just wanted to go for a stroll on my own. To see what it must feel like to be a trainer. So Hapu and I went our separate ways, but then Nebi tried to get out of my bag. Didn't you? Go on, you little troublemaker. You better think John, too. Yeah, you better think me, Nebi. I'm the one who saved you, boy, girl. I don't know what your name is. I don't know what your gender is, I mean. I mean, you're probably genderless because you're a, a legendary. I don't know what you are. Oh, and um, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted to help you during your island challenge. And then I saw these. Whoa, you were thinking about me, Lily. You were so nice, but um... You know I don't like Pokeballs. Why do you... Or as a matter of fact, you know that I only like Pokeballs and no other Pokeball kind. I bought them without even thinking. Yeah, of course, just like um, Alolan Oak when he gives me some Pokeballs that I don't need, like Die Balls or blah blah blah. I have expressed so many times... Anyway, Ace Rolla is here and she's saying, Oh, Lily! Because they're best friends now apparently, right? What's the matter? You look all worn out. You want to rest at the either house a while? Oh, Ace Rolla. Thank you. I think I might take you up on that. Alright, Ace Rolla, Ace Rolla. And you, John. We can reach my trial site from Tapu Village. Come on, follow me. Alright, so I guess we are heading to, uh... I guess we're gonna take a shortcut through Tapu Village and then head over to Ace Rolla's trial. We will not need another repel. Thank you very much. All right, so back through Tapu Village. It's raining, which make this uh, makes this uh, a little bit more creepy. Look at these little statue things. They have faces on them. It's so weird. I don't know. The old supermarket where I hold my trial is right down this way, down Route 14. Yeah, I kind of spoiled that for myself when I went there in the previous episode. I feel like I went there on the previous episode. I don't quite remember that, though. But yeah, we won't be needing Super Repel, seeing as how this whole place is just covered in mud and all nasty and... Ugh. Here we are. Climb up these steps and my trial begins. Okay. This is so... This is such a weird place to hold a trial. Like, girl, are you sure you're a captain? No, you are definitely a captain. The time has finally come, John. So I guess I should explain what kind of trial this is, huh? This old building is full of lots of ghost-type Pokemon, did you know? Here's where the trial part comes in. You've got to find the totem Pokemon of this site and snap a shot of it with a Poke Finder. The totem is a bit of a trickster, and it likes to play hide-and-seek and mess around. Okay, alright. If you take pictures of other ghost-type Pokemon inside, it'll definitely come out to get in on the fun and have its photo taken too. So, if you see something weird happening inside this old place, try to check it out. I bet you'll find a ghost-type Pokemon causing the mischief, so get its photo before it's gone. I'll just borrow your Poke Finder for a sec. Hee <laughs> hee, and your Rotom is a ghost-type too. <laughs> we'll just do this, and hee <laughs> hee, really? Ugh. There, I've set it up so that... Oh wait, I've set it up to use a special shooting mode just for this trial. You'll only be able to use it at this site, though. As soon as you enter the building, your trial will begin, got it? And you can't catch any of the Pokemon either. And you can't leave without giving up too, so make sure you're ready for anything. Alright, so, um, Rotom is saying something. Okay, okay, fine, we're doing it. We're going in, it's still creepy, but let's get this trial going. Hmm. Alright, Rotom, I really don't know what you're scared of. You are a ghost type, just like, uh, what's her name? Ace Rolla said. 
So I don't understand why you would be the one scared. I'm the one scared, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my. Oh god, this place kind of gives me the creeps already. Look at it. It's like, oh, uh, it's like the same exact place that we were at the other time, but it's just like all messed up and it looks like people died here. A conveyor belt started moving all by itself. All right, so I guess we should check it out. The conveyor belt is moving all on its own. Do you want to fire up the poker finder? Yes, I do. So our goal here is to uh, take pictures of ghost Pokemon, and here is a Ghastly. Which can probably only mean one thing. Oh god, okay. Well, if I remember the last trial with Sophocles, or Sophocles, Sophocles, I think it's Sophocles. Uh, I always have such a hard time with that dude's name, so I'm just gonna call him Sophie. Honestly, from now on, I'm gonna call him Sophie. My Pokemon, my Primarina's paralyzed, god. Look at this, and I don't have Sparkling Aria anymore, so that is very bad. Oh man, alright, so we're gonna go with Aqua Jet. Maybe I should put Incineroar in the beginning. In the beginning? <laughs> in the first part, or the first slot in my party, is what I meant to say. And if I did that, everything would be a lot easier. We took down this Ghastly really fast because it is a Ghastly, and that is a Pikachu. That is so weird. What? What is going on here? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, Incineroar up here, Primarina right here. I just like to have the starters all collected up in the beginning. And we're going to get rid of that touchscreen and head over to where that Pikachu was going. All right, then. That is... that That's actually pretty creepy. The shopping cart is moving all on its own. Do you want to fire up the Poke Finder? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, my God. You know, I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm honestly seeing a pattern here. I believe... Well, hmm. So far... I think all the totem Pokemon have been Alolan Pokemon, like Generation 7 Pokemon, or regional variants. So it wouldn't really make sense if Gengar was the totem Pokemon here. But it just seems like it, you know? It seems like it because of the, the way that this is going. I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen here, but... I think I have an idea. I'm not sure though. I don't want to say anything beforehand. So wait, whoa, what? Is the is the sound cutting out on my left ear, or is that maybe that's my headset breaking? <laughs> I feel like this is just some creepy way of making you um, worry, but maybe my headset's just breaking, and it's at the most inconvenient time because I'm in a really creepy place right now. The dolls are moving all by themselves. Do you want to fire up the Poker Finder? Yes! Why do you always ask me that? Of course I do. <laughs> I want to fire up the Poker Finder and uh, get this uh, get this stuff done. Done? 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 I don't know. Ooh! Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. Oh, it's a Gengar. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Where are you? Where are you, Gengar? This one is uh, definitely more difficult, so this guy might be the totem Pokemon. Wait a minute. Ugh. I got it right in a little cross. I feel like getting it in the cross is all I need because they do say that it's better for you to take a picture of the Pokemon while it's facing you, but honestly for this little trial that I'm doing, that doesn't seem to matter. What seems to matter is to get the Pokemon in the little cross and take a picture of it. You're not really taking a picture for the memories. At least I don't think I am. And I don't think I'm keeping this, uh, these pictures either. And I also don't know what's going on with the... Oh my god, whoa! No way this is happening right now. There is no way this is happening right now. Boys. Boys, we are about to have a Mudsdale right now! This is such a bad time! I want to make use of this Mudsdale! I don't want to... Ah, oh, man! No, I'm happy right now. I am happy right now, but... I don't understand why it had to happen right now. Alright, so we got this baby's data in the Pokedex. Mudbray and Mudsdale, and we got this whole family all registered up. Let's get this red background going. Let's go! Alright, how diggity. Yes, indeed. It's heavy mud-covered kicks are its best means of attack, and it can reduce large trucks to scrap without breaking a sweat. 
I feel like we've heard that somewhere before when it got released or revealed or whatever. That was a long time ago, man. Mudzill was... Well, it wasn't one of the first Pokemon, but it was, uh... It was a while back. You didn't do a thing, but the lock clicked open. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why I stood to the side. You can feel a pair of eyes sizing you up. Sizing me up? What? What did you just say to me? Oh, yeah. This is weird. <laughs> this is so weird. I can turn my head a lot more. There's a lot of Pikachus. Wait. Wait a minute. Bro! Whoa! You know, I should have... What is... Yo. See me? Why did this Mimikyu just talk to me? Can Totem Pokemon talk or is this Mimikyu or am I just... Am I just crazy right now? It doesn't help that it's nighttime where I am right now. This is getting really creepy, really fast. It's gonna hit me with that player up, but it's okay because I'm part fire type, but that still did a lot of damage. And I believe Mimikyu is also going to not resist this, but oh my god, completely. Whoa. Yeah, of course, it's ability disguise, so it's gonna completely, like, yeah, not block, but just my attack pretty much didn't matter. It's like a substitute in place there. Alright, so because I know I can take down Haunter with a one hit, I don't know if I can take down the Mimikyu with one hit. So, while I can... Oh, Mimic? Why are you just trying to use my own move against me? Wait a minute, do it! Do it, I dare you. Well, I guess it's not going to do it until later on. I want to see Mimikyu use that move, it would be so funny. He's probably going to do it, um, maybe next turn, because usually when a Pokemon uses Mimic, he wants to use it right away, especially a wild one. But then again, this one was raised by Ace Rolla, so I don't know what Ace Rolla teaches her Pokemon. Are these technically, are Totem Pokemon technically like a captain's Pokemon, but just like, they're put out there to test your skills? It's a really strange world here in Alola, but I avoided the play rough, so now I can get a free... Darkest Lyrat or Lilat or something. What? Wait, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. No way. Come on. Oh, oh my god. What in the world? What in the world is going on? Oh no. Alright. I really want to see you use my signature move, Mimikyu. So please just use it against me. Oh god. I keep avoiding the attack because. I was put to sleep anyway, so it's not like it matters. Thank you, Mimikyu. You are a beautiful, beautiful thing. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh my god, I'm so mad right now. You can't even tell, but I'm so mad right now. Alright, let's see. Rage Candy Bar, blah blah blah, Mahogany's Town. Hmm. We're gonna get some of that Johto in us right now. Let's go. Let's go, Incineroar. Oh god! Yeah! Oh, it's a critical hit, and I am down. Insane. Insane. Oh, man. This is not going well, but <laughs> here comes my boy, Charger Bug, to the rescue. Who do I take down first? Is Mimikyu really that big of a, a monster right now? Is it really going to affect me that much? I don't know. I don't know, but I like to make things difficult on myself, so, um, it doesn't seem my Mimikyu likes my, uh, oh, 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 wait a minute, okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait, 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 we gotta get serious about this. This is no longer a joke, because look at my team right now. Decidueye, okay, Decidueye, actually, you know what, Decidueye, um, you're not that fast, but, uh, we could probably bring you in here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So no more playing around. I am not going to take these guys lightly anymore. Obviously, I made a mistake taking down that Haunter first. I should have taken down Mimikyu and then the Haunter. That way, I would have prevented Gengar from coming in here. Where's the fun in that? You know, the Sidju. Why, uh, why did I? You, why did I bring out the Sid? The Sidju, bruh, bruh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, my boys. What in the world is happening right now? Ace Rolla is not playing games. 
This is crazy. But you know what? <laughs> You're about to see something crazy er. I'm serious. I'm not kidding anymore. Free Marina, we're gonna show them what we're made of. You you know, you just wait and see. Mmm. Eating not really eating it, but uh God bless. God bless me. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm so dead. What am I supposed to do in this situation? Guys, help me out, please. Speak to me. Speak to me, please. I just revived my Incineroar because I, I just realized that no matter what I do, I, I feel like Incineroar is my best option here. I'm getting completely bodied off of one mistake that I made. Okay, no. Oh, 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 oh. I was gonna switch in my Mudzale, but Mudzale is the last Pokemon that I want to introduce that way. No, no thank you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion on my Incineroar. Uh, for some reason it's not showing. Oh, okay. Goodbye, my Crab Brawler. That's crazy. Crab Brawler, I haven't even used you in a battle, I don't think, and that's the way that you were introduced. Crazy. But, the uh, fun ends here, Mimikyu. I am tired of trying to wait for you to use my signature move, so, um, thank you for disrespecting me, by the way, Mimikyu. That was really nice. That felt really nice to get disrespected that way. Play rough me, I don't care. I'm eating that! Shadow Ball? I, I oh my god, Shadow Ball looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful. But uh, it's time to say goodbye, Mimikyu. I should have done this a long time ago, but I thought it would be cool for the viewers to see you use Incineroar's signature move. I think that would have been pretty cool, but <laughs> I guess it's uh, it's not cool when you're getting your face literally pounded in. And I also got put to sleep. I remember now. I remember. Oh my god, the flashbacks. Get destroyed. And finally, I am done with this trial. That was supposed to be spooky, but it wasn't really. I defeated the Totem Mimikyu. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Mimikyu disappeared somewhere. A picture was added to your Poke Finder. There's a fuzzy image of Mimikyu caught in this picture. Alright, so I guess that's my proof. And now we are finally out of this stinky, gross, spooky supermarket. And there's Ace Rolla. She's been waiting for me patiently over here. What is that stuff under her eyes? Welcome back, John. I can check your pictures right away. Now let's see how you did. Yep, that's Mimikyu, all right. It's pretty hard to catch it on film, so this is a really great attempt. Which means... What is that? Oh, yeah! The Coast DMZ... Oh, my God. I can put this on Decidueye? Bro. The power commences. And the trial is complete. I believe this is one of the last trials, too. We are getting so close, guys. This is crazy. Okay. So, I don't remember. Anyway, hold on. Let's uh, let's wait until we hear everything that Ace Rolla has to say first. If you want to use a Ghost-type Z-Power, then you've got to move like this. Huh? And since you passed my trial, John, you now have my permission to catch Pokemon in the trial site. So, in that old building there. Here you go. What is that? Oh, 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 of course. Yeah, thank you, I guess. It's not a bad idea to have some ghost-type Pokemon on your team. Well, Ace Rolla, I actually do already, so I don't need to go in there. Maybe if I want to catch a Haunter one day. What's that? You say the Poke Finder just started up on its own during your trial? Ooh, cut it out, John. You're trying to scare me, huh? You'll have to come up with something a bit more believable than that. There's not even any room in the back of that shop for starters. How gullible do you think I am? Huh? Bro, what is happening? Don't do this. Oh my god. <laughs> that was such a... Okay, I'm never doing that again. I feel like I'm getting chicken skin. Like a chill going through me for some reason. Wait. What is she trying to tell me? Wait, what is behind? Did you guys see that behind me? Oh my god, there was something behind me. There was something right there. There was something right... I swear! I swear... Hold on. Yo! 
Did you guys see that? Go back and look at that. There was something behind me, bro. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not messing around with this game anymore. This is crazy, my boys. Alright. I don't know what happened, but I guess we're gonna have to head up and see what's going on. What's uh, upsetting you, Ace Rolla? We'll see after I heal my Pokemon up, because I feel like something bad's about to happen. I mean, I don't know if she was talking about what was behind me or what. But as I was saying, when, the, when it said trial complete, it reminded me. That was one of the final trials. Because, let's count. I feel like Kukui said there was like seven trials or something, so... We did... Elima's trial, Kiawe's, uh, Mallow's, Lana's, that's four, Sophocles, and now, oh my god. And now we did Ace Rolas. So we've done six? So wait a minute. No way. There's no. Oh my. Re I told you guys. Either Foundation Team's goal. This is not a coincidence. I'm telling you guys, there's something going on. Yeah, but we're so close. This is so crazy. Back so soon, hmm? I wasn't expecting you just yet. Takes these dumb grunts way too long to deal with you kids. So I guess it's my turn now. How? Are you seriously scared? Come on, man. What? I told you before. Next time you get in our way, I'm not holding anything back. Do not disrespect me, Plumeria. Please, dear God. Do not say that. Don't say you're, you're going to hold back when I'm about to destroy you right now. My Pokemon are fully healed up. It's a fair match. Then again, it's not really because you're using two and I'm using six, but... I'm not gonna have to switch from my first Pokemon. Okay, maybe I will have to switch from my first Pokemon, but that's not um You know, let's let's just not talk about that right now. <laughs> oh god, please don't poison me. I hate being poisoned so bad. Alright. Maybe we can get through this gold bat without getting poisoned one bit. Oh I got him burned. Let's go. Yeah, I'm so mean because like I'll be like, oh I hate that you burn me, but when I burn somebody, I'll be like yeah, you burn now. You're mad now, bro. But now I'm mad because I'm confused. And I hate... I would rather be poisoned than confused, honestly. Then again, confusion goes away. You switch out or you end the battle, but... Uh, it's annoying like this. See? It makes the battle longer when it doesn't have to be because... Yeah, I mean, the battle could... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's so weird to say, but like... The battle wouldn't be as long if I wasn't confused because you're just prolonging the inevitable at this point. You see what I mean? Like, why, why is this happening? Why am I getting hurt? Why are you getting burned? Like, you should have just died to a fire fang a minute ago. You're wasting my life, Plumeria. Is this what you're trying to do? Are you trying to take hours of my life? Bruh, Incineroar, you did not. My boy, are you serious? Like, did you just hit yourself three times in a row? I will not have this. No. We are not gonna go down like this. Now I use a Hyper Potion and I feel inferior to Plumeria because of you. Incineroar, I'm sorry. I love my Pokemon to death, but... God, why? Why is this happening to me? Oh, God. This is crazy, man. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. I'm going into the mic. I'm talking into the mic right now. Now that it matters. Why are Alolan Pokemon so slow? Please don't hate yourself again. Bro, are you kid? Are you serious? Like, no. This is crazy. The burn is going to take care of this Golbat before it takes care of Oh, my God. All right. You know what? This thing is faster than us anyway. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a Super Potion on you. So that you're ready for the next Mon. Because, jeez, this is insane. The burn is going to take care of that Golbat for you. I guess you did you did something. There we go. Oh my god, that is the slowest. Like, that must be a record time for beating that Golbat, honestly. Salazzle. So, okay, that's going to take forever if I stay in with Incineroar. So, what we're going to do is we're going to end Salazzle in a spectacular way. You guys want to see how? You guys want to see my uh, Primar uh, Primarina's Spirit Bomb? I'll show you guys right now. It's the most beautiful Spirit Bomb you will ever see. And of course, Zalazzle had to poison me before I did it. But it's okay, because I'm still going to do it. And now, I'm going to do it with 10 times the force. How dare you poison my Primarina? You're not getting away with this. You won't. 
I promise you that much. Let's go, Oceanic Operetta. Take a look at this power. Look at that concentration. And look at that poor little Salazzle. You know what? I, mean? I don't even feel bad for this thing. It serves you right for letting yourself get caught by that Plumeria. Goodbye. Elegantly, of course. Gone. Alright, Incineroar is getting a little too strong. Mudsdale needs some more training. Crab Brawler also needs a little bit more training. Hmm. I can't even stand myself right now. Alright, all I wanted is that money from you, Plumeria. Otherwise, you know, like... Other than that, I don't really care about you right now. Hmm. I guess you are pretty tough. Now I understand why my grunts waste so much time battling kids. But if you want to return... If you want us to return the Pokemon... You have to come with us. Alone. The boss is dying to meet you. Hm. See you at our base in Po Town. Your boss actually met me already, and he lost to me, so... Goodbye. Ugh, battles you can't afford to lose aren't any fun. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh no, what happened in... Oh my god. Wait, what Pokemon did they take? What? The Oranguru's still there. My... My young goo oh my god. We can't forgive this. Darn it, those numbskulls actually did something pretty clever for once. If we want to get the Pokemon back, then John has to go to Po Town. All alone? With no backup? That's what they said, but that's not fair. Team Skull has taken over Po Town. It's basically their private playground now. If you're gonna go though, try to find this guy on Route 15 who's wearing a kimono. He might be able to help you get to Po Town. A kimono? Here, take this. Just... Just get my young goose back for me! A rare candy. Thank you, little girl, but... I don't know if I'm gonna... Okay. Pokemon being abducted like that. Maybe even hurt. I just can't stand the idea. John, please, help them. You're gonna help us, aren't you? You're strong, right? Oh, God. I feel so alone and scared without my Pokemon. I can't sleep at night without her. This is so messed up. Team Skull, oh wait, same exact thing. I, I'm sorry, John, it's my fault. Now you gotta put yourself in danger because I couldn't stop them. You know what, How I'm actually kinda wanting to blame you for this because you were able to beat me at one point. I'm not saying you can beat me now, but at one point you were able to beat me and you lost to Team Skull, you make me feel bad. I feel like Claire, when I beat her in Pokemon Gold and Silver, and then she said, don't you dare lose to Lance, that's how I feel right now. Because you lost to Lance, basically. Except it's not even Lance, you lost to Team Skull, you disgrace me. Okay. I'm so sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of venting to you guys right now. My Primarina is poisoned, that is uh, my main priority right now. You know I can't let that, uh, can't let that slide. And I feel so bad right now about what's happening. I think that we can afford to put Mudsdale there, but maybe not. We'll just, we'll have to wait and see. I just want to train up my Mudsdale and see what's going on. Let's battle this Ace Trainer. Actually, Ace Trainer against my Mudsdale, who's level 31. Alola? How dare you put a question mark there? You're greeting me, bro. I'm not greeting you then, bro. These ace trainers think they're so cool. All right, Yuki, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how this is. All right, Sandshrew. Oh, bruh. Okay. Yeah, maybe we want to back out of this Mudsdale. Uh, you need to come on back because this is not gonna be good for you. I promise you that much. Oh God, bro, I did the I did something wrong. All right. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Okay. It's okay. I mean, an ace trainer with a sand shoe, though? We are so far in the game. Level 32? You need to get yourself a sand slash. What are you doing? You should have trained up a little bit more before facing me. Hmm. I'm actually going to stay in on that one. How about that? How do you feel about that, huh? Look at this. Darkest Lyrat. 
La Lariat. La Lariat? Lariat? La Darkest Lariat? I don't know <laughs> what is going on right now. The Marowak is gone out of here. Let's go. Let's give Cubone a reason to cr wait. Alola. Okay. Uh, is that all this man says? Is that all you know how to say? Let me see what he says. Oh, I swear. I swear. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? Like, that's all that man says. Alola? Alola? Alola. 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 Get out of here. Alright, so... Yo, I'm not gonna be... I knew it. Pretty wing? Oh, no. You're not just fling something at me. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Run away, please. Get away. Oh, my God. Come on. You know, maybe using Mudsdale wasn't the best idea right now. My stamina, though. Look at this defense. Crazy. Let me get out of here. Come on. Oh, God. Finally. All for a little item. It's probably nothing great. Let's see. A hyper potion. Okay, wait. That was probably worth it. Those things are pretty expensive. And they're nerfed. Oh, God. I hate that. Ooh. A Zygarde cell. Nice. Those team Skull Thugs, they are taking the Pokemon they stole from others and skulking them away by boat. Skulking? That's the dude in the kimono. Oh god, Corsola. Oh, you gotta keep this Corsola out of here. It's gonna get eaten by that weird Pokemon. That kimono clad fellow who's always flipping that coin of his. I hear he was once a famous trainer in the U- Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What? Oh my god, is that- <gasps> Man, oh man, what is going on today? Someone actually bothered coming to this kind of sad place? Well, no matter, I'll take you on, keep you company, it's Grimsley of the Elite Four, bruh! Tell me, Uncle Grimsley's going to flip a coin, will it be heads or tails? It'll be, uh, uh, tails? Grimsley of the Elite Four, bro, is gracing our presence, look at this man, he looks so different! Oh my god! What is going on? Why are you dressed like that? Astonishing, you just took a stab. Like some kind of prophet. Right now, you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. A loss is a loss. I'll give you Sharpedo's info for your ride pager then. Ride it to victory. Oh, Sharpedo, I get it, because, okay. Alright, bro. Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding a Sharpedo there, it'll jet forward and smash through rocks like those ones there. And here's a bit more on wanted advice. Pole Town lies at the other end of Route 16 here, but it's thoroughly occupied by Team Skull. You shouldn't go there unless you want trouble. Grimsley, my boy, I will listen to you. If somebody wins a battle, then without a doubt, someone else has lost a battle. That's the way of battle. I hope I might battle you someday. Wait, what? Oh, wins a- oh, okay. I did not understand what he was saying at first, but- Oh my god, the Unova references. You know what? Unova deserves it, honestly, because... Oh man, Unova hasn't gotten much love in the past games, for references anyway. So, it's really good that Unova is getting that kind of love now. Especially in this game, man. I would have definitely um, waited. If I was a game, I would have waited until this game to get my references, honestly. So, uh, what is the point of this? Oh, right, okay, so these rocks are blocking the way, so that's why we need this. Wait, oh, oh, before we keep going, I gotta remember to activate my Max Repels. Because if I don't do that, then we're gonna encounter a bunch of Pokemon that we probably don't want to encounter. Did I pass my Max Repel? Super Repel, wait a minute, what? Where's my Max Repels? Did I run out? Oh, there it is, okay. I just want to make sure that we are good right now. I don't want anything to interrupt us while we are testing out this new Sharpedo toy. Yeah, I consider this a toy. You got a problem with that? Let's break all the rocks around here. Wait a minute. Oh, God. It's because I'm riding Mudsdale. Or, sorry, not riding Mudsdale. I'm riding Sharpedo, but I have Mudsdale as the first thing in my team, which I should probably change because I am in water now. So that might not be the best route to go. I can't even get away from a video. Yeah, I need to go. <laughs> I need to go. This is not the greatest thing to do right now. 
We need to uh, get away. We need to get away for uh, um, Mudsdale. Please don't be captivated by a little fish. Please. This is embarrassing right now. Okay. So usually, you know, third time's a charm. We can get away at that point. Well, that's what's been happening anyway. Wait a minute. I went to my items for some reason. I go into our Pokemon. And we are going to switch. Um, you know what? We're going to switch to Sidueye. I could switch and charge a bug, but... I'm so mad at Charger Bug because I can't evolve it yet. So it kind of makes me mad, but it's okay. Now that pretty much guarantees that we won't be running into any Pokemon. Because the Sidueye, I'm sure there's no level 40s around here. So we will be good. Wait a second, what is this? Is this already the. This is not already land, is it? Oh no, what is it? Whoa, wait a minute. There's a shiny, nice Ultra Ball over here. TM93 Wild Charge, that's pretty nice. Wait a minute. And this girl right here? Hey, hey, come out here, my Pokemon. Hey, you gotta calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. you I didn't even have to battle, you didn't even have to battle me. Ace Trainer Carla, I like that name, hey. Volpe, oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Not the best uh, Pokemon to send out against uh, an Alolan Vulpix, but I'm still pretty happy about it. Spirit Shackle. Ugh. Ugh. Gone. Oh my god. I'm still shocked by that. I'm still shocked by Decidueye's strength. Oh yeah, it's over. <laughs> it is over for you, my girl. I am sorry. Unless your Haunter is pretty fast yeah I knew it I knew it I just knew it I knew it. it just the happiness and the luck and the power does not last very long and I'm about to hit myself watch I knew it I'm so done come on bro bro no way come on hit yourself don't hit yourself bro oh my god thank you so much this is UI. You know what? Sometimes I'm happy using you. Actually, no, most of the time I am, okay? I'm lying. Most of the time I am, alright? Don't hate on me. Wiggly Tough. Oh god, this is a tough, tough decision. Hmm. What should I do right now? Razor Leaf, Sucker Punch, Pluck. Guess I'll go with uh, <laughs> Razor Leaf. That's the easiest or the most obvious option to. Or the most... Oh, God, of course, you're going to disable my Razor Leaf. Wait a minute. So if Razor Leaf is disabled, this is a good question. Hey, wait a minute. We might be answering some stuff here. Razor Leaf is disabled, but Bloom Doom isn't. Oh, my God. That is so sick. That is such a great... Wow, that is a great workaround. I never even thought about that. I should have used Bloom Doom from the beginning, though. We would have been able to take care of this a little wiggly tough from the very beginning. That's insane. So the more you know, you can use a Z move to sort of counter disable if you ever need to do that. Because technically, a Z move is a separate move that is coming from that same move, but it will also make sense if the Z move was disabled along with a move that it's pretty much learning from. I don't know. That's really just blows your mind, but that's how it works, I guess. All right, everybody, back inside your Pokeballs. Yeah, back inside your Pokeballs. Get back in there. What are you doing? Alright, so it looks like we're done here. I'm going to use another Repel. Head back into the water. I am sure we are not done. We have some more stuff to figure out. There's another trainer over here. Who I somehow miraculously avoided. It's not really miraculous. Or it's not really a miracle. I see a Pokemon Center far... Um, over there, um, past those trees. So we're not far at all. You're gonna fully experience my water-based tactics. It's always the same man. All the time. Same dude. I feel like it's a, it's just the same guy. Over and over. Just swimming in different places. Tentacruel. Huh? That's a tiny, tiny tentacruel. Look at how tiny that thing is. Bro! Yeah, I am not used to this at all. That looks so weird, because you can see the trainer right there. He looks like a little squid, like a tiny little baby 
Tentacruel. Have I been fooled my whole life about Tentacruel's, like, actual size? Crazy. Goodbye, Tentacruel. It was nice knowing you, um... Uh... Actually, it's like a mini Tentacruel, almost. Mudzilla's level 32. Crab Brawl is 32. It's like they're growing in sync. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I sink and I dive. Well, then maybe you should get out of water. There's a lot of little islands. There's actually an island to your right over there with a pretty young lady. Just for you, my boy. You're young. She's young. Sounds like a perfect couple to me. Just go swim over there and uh, you should be good. Alright, so we're going to break through these rocks. Is there more rocks around here? Bro. Alright, so we made it to the shore. Oh, there's some more trainers over there. And over here, too. Oh, oh, there's another swimmer. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not a mermaid. I'm a Pokemon trainer in a bikini. Okay. I would be shocked if you weren't in a bikini in the water, girl. Bro. Love this. You know what I like? I like that I chose Decidueye for this, because everything is so much easier. Not that I like things easy, but... Watch this. Boom. It's just a lot better, because these battles don't really mean anything to me. So I can, you know, just get them out of the way quicker. And like I said... I would love and love to battle and battle, but I have some Pokemon to save. A young goose, um, to be more precise. You see, there's this little girl way, way, way back that lost her young goose to Team Skull because of my friend Howe. You know what? This is a little bit, um, yeah, that's, that's a little too much information. Probably don't care anyway. How is Charger Charge a Bug is trying to learn dig, huh? No, you know what? No. Nope, you don't get to learn dig. Alright? It would be really difficult too because there's so many different moves that it has already that I don't want to teach it that. It has acrobatics, spark, crunch, X scissor. I don't want to get rid of any of those. And even for dig, that's such a weird move to like learn though. Especially since it's gonna be a Vicable. I cannot see a Vicable going underground. It's so weird. When do I get to become a Vicavolt though? That's the question. That's what I need to know, bro. Boom. Alright. Out with the Alomomola. This girl had a lot of Pokemon. Holy crap. You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down, girl. Oh, Stormy. Why does she give me that look? What is going on? Why does she give the trainer that look, bro? All right, I bet there's another swimmer, or not, wait, there's a little, oh, okay, so nothing there, this whole shore, I can actually kind of scope out the shore by swimming on this Sharpedo, and there's one last little place here, I'm looking at my Rotom map as well, and it only shows that there's one last uh, shore here, a dive ball, yeah, how about I just, uh, you know, just make every single thing a dive ball or a pokeball or a luxury ball. When I get in the ocean, I get prickled or pricked by Corsola or Pukumuku. Abs, abs! The guy's doing the abs and the girl. The girl's also doing abs. That's so weird. They're doing sit ups. Yumi and Jake. Yumi? Yumi and Jake. That's a weird combination. All right. So we got a Slowbro, a Psyduck, no problem. Mudsdale, oh god! Bad combo on my end. Oh no. This is not good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Razor Leaf to attack both of them. And as for Mudsdale, I'm probably going to switch him out with... Um, you know, this isn't very smart, but that Slowbro is going to give me some trouble. So, I do want my dark type Incineroar out in the field, even though he might get hit with some water. Avoided the attack? What do you mean, avoided the attack? And the gold on the... Okay. Oh, okay. All right, then. If you use it on... Oh, I was about to say, bro. I mean, 
it wouldn't have done anything, so I guess I would have been better. But now, I mean, either way, I guess it, it makes, uh, it doesn't matter because now both of them are gone. Razor Leaf on both. Boom. Golduck out of the field. And now it's time for Incineroar to show you what's good. Because Slowbro is obviously slow, so it's not going to outspeed even my slow Incineroar. Boom. Gone. Pretty good. I did a pretty good job, if you ask me. Plus, there's a Pokemon Center not too far away. I saw it. So we can just head there. Ah, it's because Piku Muku gets stuck to my behind. Wait! My Golduck and I were distracted by our surroundings. Get stuck to your behind. Thank you for putting that image in my head. Thank you. Pokemon stick to me like Shelter biting down on a... Oh, my... Okay, then. If you go on a date at beach, you can see your girl swimsuit. Bruh! That's what I was thinking, but my girl's been training the whole time. Wait. Bro, there's no way he said that to me. Bruh. I'm so done. Yo. They did not care with this game. Catch plenty of Pokemon and fill up those PC boxes. You can develop your Poke Palego. Palego, Poke Palego. I have that option on my touchscreen, but I haven't used it yet, and for a good reason. I don't think I can even use Wi-Fi at this moment. Or maybe I can, I don't know. I haven't tried it. Alright, so healing up my Pokemon. I like to see them on that big, beautiful screen that you have right there, Nurse Joy. Woo -hoo. Man, I kind of missed two cannon, but it wasn't doing it for me. A Pokemon with the receiver ability takes over the ability of a defeated ally, so its ability will be the same as a fainted ally. A Pokemon with the power of alchemy ability. Power of alchemy, huh? Will change its ability to the ability of a defeated ally. Power of alchemy, that's kind of dark. You're a trainer, right? Will you do a little job for me? Sure. I'm looking for information about a Pokemon called Mimikyu. So how about you go and catch a Mimikyu for me, and then, you know, show me the data, blah, blah, blah. I'll pay you some money, blah, blah, blah. I knew it. Even with the same drink, the flavor is different in each cafe. Really, no. The ability of Marine and Toxapex Mercy... Wait. Marine? Marini and Toxapex. Toxapex is a Pokemon that eats Corsola. That's what it is. But I still don't know what Pokemon that is. Merciless. Makes attacks always result in critical hits if the target is poisoned. It's very mean, isn't it? I guess so. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, wait, whoa. Buy more items? But I could already buy all the items, I thought. Okay. How come I have 38,000? It, it, does it, like, cap at that or something? Because I've battled so many trainers and... Oh, God, I don't even have enough of these. All right, so buying some super potions as well. I'm gonna buy eight of them. I just want to make sure I'm completely equipped for whatever's about to happen. Because you know something crazy is about to go down right now, bro. Ooh, a Zygarde Cell. I wonder how many Zygarde Cells I've missed, because sometimes you can't really see them. Using Sharpedo Jet can even break boulders. I wonder which would come out on top if Taurus and Sharpedo were to go head to head. I don't know, you're asking the wrong dude. My spinda spots have to take top spot. The scattering of faint spots on a field of fur. I could feast my eyes on them all day. If you want to know which spinda has the best spots here, there's no way to put a spin on it. Bro. Wait, no. Oh, God, I messed up. Oh, God, I messed up again. It's obviously this one right here on the right. Look how deep and rich the, co uh, the coloration. Coloration? I don't know. And the po positioning, it's positively art. All right, then, if you say so. Oh, God, there's more trainers. Oh, God, when does this end? Well, I mean, I don't want it to end, but... <laughs> you can drop up to 18 Pokemon at... Whoa. Um, No. And there is another little scientific science thing here. Oh my god. I've been waiting for you. Now let me explain about the reassembly unit. Cena, you don't have you don't waste even a second. Have you been collecting Zygarde cells in cores? You've collected 10 or more cells in cores combined. Anyway, I'll explain. A reassembly unit is a device that has something to do with the Pokemon Zygarde. The machine is capable of assembly and separation of Zygarde. 
Assembly is to create a Pokemon called Zygarde. Maldexio, it's your turn. Oh, Cena, Cena, Cena. Anyway, there are two ways to assemble Zygarde. One is to add cells you collected to Zygarde. The other is to create a new Zygarde with only cells. But wait. Next, we'll explain about separation. To separate Zygarde, it means to return Zygarde to its cells. Wow, separated cells will be returned to the Zygarde cube. For your information, according to the research by the professor who sent us to Alola, the Zygarde is divided into 100 cells and cores. Depending on the number of cells and cores, the shape of Zygarde will be different. In other words, Zygarde changes its form. Zygarde is set to maintain the order of Kalos region. And why is it in Alola? That is what I've been asking. Is it a sign that something is about to happen? Oh my god. If you collect Zygarde cells and cores, you may get the answer. Anyhow, we'll be taking our leave now. Bon voyage. No way. What is this? Oh, I thought I was about to get a Kalos starter or something. You can't play with my soul like this. The Zygarde cube is a mysterious object in which you can store Zygarde cells and cores. I heard the professor called Sycamore in the Kalos region found it. Bruh. Uh, assembly, let's do this. Uh, oh my god. Using the Zygarde, using Zygarde cube only. Zygarde will be assembled with the cores and cells within the Zygarde cube only. The 10% stored in the Zygarde cube will be used to assemble Zygarde 10% form. Is that okay? Sure. Oh my god. This is so weird. Zygarde 10%... Bruh. Oh my... Did this actually just happened right now? Whoa, was that a new, like... You've registered a legendary Pokemon. That's, well, legendary. Let's check it out. That's crazy. This is Zygarde's form when about 10% of its cells have been gathered. It runs across a land speeds greater than 60 miles per hour. Wow. Hmm. Where do I want to send a Zygarde to? I don't know. Should I? I should add it to my party. I know you guys want to see it in action, so... What I'll do right now is I will replace it with... Um... Oh god, this is hard. Crab Brawler, I guess. Just for now. Alright. So my Zygarde 10 is here, and I won't be using it because I feel like it's maybe a little too strong, and it doesn't fit in with my team too well. But we're gonna put it up here. It's level 30. That's a pretty nice level. But my Crab Brawler is still a little bit stronger. Hmm. And I sneak under here. Oh wow, that's really cool. And then we get TM81 X Scizor. Wow, that's actually pretty good. All right, let's get out of here. I thought that there was like some way to break that boulder in front of it or something, but it's the other way around. It's really good to check around and uh, see your surroundings because you never know what you're gonna find. I'm doing research on the island challenge. I asked for your cooperation. You're not getting my cooperation, looking like that, bro. You look kind of creepy, bro. I don't know. And your name is Reed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have nothing against that. Charge a bug. Oh, God. I want to know how to... Uh. And here we go. Zygarde 10. First time I'm ever using a Zygarde 10 in battle. This is basically just Zygarde. We're going to use Land's Wrath. Oh, my God. This is so sick. But it didn't do anything. What the heck? The Zygarde 10 is probably not even... Wow, Zygarde 10 is actually not that good. It's okay, I guess. But it's not that good. I thought it would be way better than that, but what can I expect? It's just, um... Ooh, Muck. Okay. Alolan Muck, probably. Bruh. Thing looks so crazy. I really know. I really don't care. Huh? Go on. I knew it. I knew I was gonna die to that. It's okay because now I get to see Mudsdale in action for the first time. 
All I've been doing is running away using Mudsdale, but now we are actually... Oh, bro, no, 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 my Lolan Monk, where are you going? Ugh. Dang, that was a crit? Oh, God, I don't like a Lolan... I'm sorry, I just don't like a Lolan Monk. I don't know why they did that. Despite taking damage, I was able to gather data. Yeah, but now your glasses are broken, just like uh, the other... 10 scientists I beat. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do now is head to the Pokemon Center, get my Crab Brawler back, and continue our on or ad uh, on our adventure. Oh my god, I can't even talk. Okay. I have a lot of Pokemon in my um computer thing, thingy thing. Not as many Pokemon as I would want to have, but I guess I have some Pokemon, you know? A pretty good collection, a pretty decent collection, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Incineroar, Decidueye, oh man, I think Mudzill's ready. I think Mudzill's ready. Honestly, I think it's time. I think it's time, bros. Whoa. I don't know what the grass here is for, because I'm not going in it. <laughs> a Nectar that. Let's Oricorio change forms is a bit different from the one metal to the next. I wonder what an Oricorio would look like if it tried some Ula Ula Metals Nectar. I don't know, man. Is that what's coming up next? Is that where we're going? Ula Ula Metal, bro. Oh? Let me guess. You were wondering what a golfer would be doing in a metal like this. If you want an answer... Oh, come on. So another guy... I genuinely forget. <laughs> Like, I genuinely forget at the end to come back and battle those guys. It's not like a running gag or anything. I seriously just forget. It's crazy. It is crazy, but it is true. Yo. Oh my god, this place is big. Look at it. Oh, I guess it's not that big. Okay. So, I assume there might be like maybe four trainers or something like that. It's probably a bunch of grass type uh, trainers though. Let's check out these fields up here. Are there any Pokemon? Okay. I was about to say, please don't let it be a Pokeball. Please. Alright, there's some stuff over here. I know there's Oricorio here, though. Do you know about super strong Pokemon? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I just assembled one by myself. Thanks to two scientists or two researchers or two assistants from the Kalos region. Which is really weird to be... Okay, I shouldn't be telling you any of this, but whatever. Oh god, of course I am being matched up with like literally the worst matchups. Let's see what we can do though, because I do have double kick and I'm gonna be slower than this thing. It's not even hitting me. Plus, I got that stamina. Let's go. Look at this. Whew. Oh my. Oh god, I feel so bad for that Sneasel. I felt the pain all the way over here. Crab Brawl is level 33. Reversal. Let's see what moves you have, bro. Bubble Beam, Power Up Punch, Dizzy Punch. Actually, no. I have never been a big fan of Reversal anyway, so we're going to keep our old moves and continue on with whatever this is. Komala. I actually forgot what type Komala was. But most of the time, you can't go wrong with using ground type moves. But in this case, I feel like you're maybe a normal type, so I'm going to try to hit you with this high, or not high horsepower, the, um, boom. Ooh, crit, come on. Bruh. Oh, God. I'm going to switch out before I uh, fall asleep. I definitely don't want to do that. And I'm actually going to switch out into Crab Brawler. We're going to see something beautiful here, guys. Hmm, hopefully he doesn't use Yawn. Okay, good. And I avoided the attack that free switch in. And now, the power up punch. Well, after he hits me with that, that didn't really do anything. <sighs> Dang. What is my ability, actually? That's an interesting question, because I think that this Crab Brawler is powerful. Heavy Slam. Let's check this out. Heavy Slam. The user slams into its target with its heavy body. The more the user outweighs the target. You Whoa. Stomp. Iron Defense. Hmm. Iron Defense is a good move, too. 
But Heavy Slam sounds good as well because Mudsdale is extremely heavy. So maybe we can get rid of Stump. Stump is also a good move, but I don't know how I feel about it next to Heavy Slam. Man, all my Pokemon right now. I said Super, but I meant something a little different. What did you mean then? Like, unique? The fluffy ones are, are really are really the Super Pokemon. You're still saying Super, even though you said you weren't going to say it anymore. You're kind of triggering me right now. Urgh, I can't help but to paddle to battle when a trainer is present. Are you still dancing? Come on, girl. You know better than this. Dancer Miriel. Miri Miriel. Miriel. Oricorio. You caught that right here? Miriel. Miriel. Using Oricorio. Alright, so let's try out our heavy slam. I can't do anything else. Let's check this out. Oh my. Oh, I maybe regret that. <laughs> I didn't really do much. Double kick is not going to do anything either, though. So we might want to switch out for this one, guys. Ah, I feel so bad about that. I wanted to make a good impression. Or not really a good impression, but I just wanted to do some good damage using that, you know? Teeter dance. Ah, really? Ugh. God. Right off the bat, huh? Hopefully we can... Push through this confusion and beat up this Oricorio. Oricorio is not a bad Pokemon, though, from what I've seen. Let's go! Ah! Oh, really? Oh, man. Alright, come on. Power through. Power through. Let's go. Oh, God. Not on yourself. Power through this and just go into it. Come on. Let's do it. We can do this. Bruh, charge, charge, blah. Bruh, 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 Crit! Yes! Ah, nice. It feels so nice to have a level 38 charge bug, doesn't it? It feels so great. I love it. She said something like, ah, oh, no way I'd lose her or whatever while dancing, blah, 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 or something. I don't know. Okay, so... Our Max Repel. I still have one more Max Repel, so we're going to use that even though we could find an Oricorio here. But I honestly don't feel like it. Not right now, guys. Red Nectar. What do you got to say for yourself? Ah, ee -hee. I can't stop dancing when I watch Oricorio. But you did stop dancing now. Repeat ball. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. What? Is this an Oricorio? It is an Oricorio. Hmm. Do I want to catch it though? That's the question. Probably or probably not. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Probably not. I feel like. But didn't I catch one already? Oh no! Come on! Come on, Oricorio! Don't do this to me, Bruh. Oh god. All right. Let me go now. Oh, thank you. God, I'm so. Oh god, please don't do this to me. I'm just don't doing this to me. Oricorio and the others come, lured by Flower Nectar. Should I battle the guy in the front? Because this time, I'm actually remembering about him. Like, I'm actually remembering him. So maybe I should battle him. Unless I forget again, then I won't battle him. This is really good for me. Because it's Mudsdale against Torkoal. It's a clean one-hit destruction right here. Wow. This place actually looks pretty nice. The sun thing on the bottom screen looks really weird though. Look at it, it looks like a gear. It looks more like a gear than anything else, but the Torkoal of course protected itself to um, avoid the inevitable. But it's okay because it'll learn. Bruh! Oh god, that's gonna do... Yeah, yeah, I thought so. God, that's crazy. I like how my stamina is going up, but I wasn't even hit by a physical attack. You should know better than that. Mudsdale, it's not going to help you out, man. But I do appreciate the defense increase. Doesn't hurt. 
Sidgy is level 44. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening right now, bro? Look at this. Bro. Uh, 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 uh. Insane. Insane. Seeking. What do we do to a seeking? I'm gonna bring out my, uh, you know what? Hmm. Although you are not worthy of this seeking, I will bring out my Decidueye and use my Leaf Blade. I had to switch out to something anyway, and I don't want to switch out a Charger Bug because it's probably not going to be able to take out this seeking in one hit. And uh, that's what I want to do. Boom. Oh, oh! You did not need to do all that. That's crazy. Just one slash was enough. Crazy. Leafeon, why are you changing it up so much? All right, so for this one, we'll use Pluck. Uh. Oh, nice. Sword Stance is also a bit different. Hopefully we don't get attacked. It's not like it matters because I'm faster than you anyway. And I'm also 10 levels above you. It should excuse me from... Um... Actually, I shouldn't have an excuse... For not being able to take you down in one hit. An office worker standing in the meadow. That could be a painting. You have some weird thoughts, girl. I don't know what you're thinking. The flower nectar is so delish that it makes Oricorio's form change. Okay, then. So, three trainers down. And literally one to go. Because it's this guy right here. Oh, congratulations to you. You beat all the trainers in the meadow. And I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm waiting for a worthy trainer like you. So what do you say? Will you have a battle against me? Yes. My special strategy hinges on my use of an item called the Flame Orb. This golfer is on fire. Here comes my full-powered best shot. You know? Maybe I should have battled these guys because now that I remember, the first guy that I battled like that, he gave me a red card. Which is something used, um... Well, I don't know if it's really used in competitive battle, but I've seen it being used before. I know it's weird, but I've seen it being used before. And this guy is going to give me a Flame Orb, obviously, since his Pokemon is so reliant on it. I want to use Double Kick, but at the same time, I want to switch out. I have a bad feeling about this. At the same time, my stamina is going to go up, and this guy is going to rely on Guts. Then, um... Look at that. Oh my god. Big mistake. Huge mistake. And I made a huge, uh, I made a huge mistake as well, apparently. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. You see, my stamina is gonna keep going up, which is really good for me. Mudsdale is broken, simply broken, even with a burn guts. Look at this. Oh my, I'm gonna, you're gonna max me out, bro. You are going to max me out. You don't want to do this. Whoa, I should have started with that. I should have honestly started with that. Wow. All right, so I'm going to use a Hyper Potion on my Mudsdale. I want to be good for his uh, next Pokemon, whatever it may be. Oh, man, another one? Really? You want to keep trying me? I am fully maxed out in defense now. Wow, look at that. That must be so annoying to the trainer. He must feel so bad. Look at that. His Guts Hariyama with his Flame Orb tactic isn't doing anything to my Mudsdale. You're falling into my little trap. How do you feel? How do you feel seeing your own move being used against you? Hit me five times if you want. It's not going to make a difference. Go on. All right. Alakazam. Jeez, I remember the Alolan um, Alakazam rumors. Wait, I could have used Heavy Slam and destroyed this man. I'm not holding an item. Mm. Huh? Oh! Gone. Before you could even burn me. Jeez, I'm so lucky. 
Guess I'm burned out after all. Oh my god, I guess I'm burned out, bro. This man looks kind of old. Hmm, hmm. Just as I thought. You have what it takes to be my next wielder of my precious flame orb. Mm hmm. I'm glad that I waited here you, for you for so long. Take it, my flame orb. It can't be your only one. You had two on those Pokemon. There, and that's that. I don't know if it's simply a part of getting older, but lately, I've been completely hooked on golf. I'd gotten a bit burnt out as a trainer and could no longer use that flame orb as I should have. Using it wisely takes a bit of tricky thinking, but if you figure it out, it'll pay you back in spades. Well, yeah, like I said, you had two of them, so you didn't completely um, part ways with it, I guess. And there's one last place that I have to go to through here. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. There's like some water over there. What is that? This is Zygartzel. And there's also... Oh my god, I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. That crumbling old shrine. What do you think to it... Wait, what do you think happened to it in the past? I don't know, but it's time to check that out. Don't you think? Lake of the Sun. Oh my god. Where are we, guys? Where are we? Oh! You're that trainer who's always popping into the Pokemon Center, aren't you? This place may have fallen into ruin, but it is still spectacular, wouldn't you say? Even if there's nothing to see here now, I can't help thinking that there's... That there being nothing here now bellies or belies the possibility that something could be here. Something wondrous. Oh my god. Oh my god, this place is huge. I am not ready for this. I am obviously not in the right place right now. But I did find TM-03 Psyshock. That's something. Jeez, I am not supposed to be here right now. That's all I know. Oh my god! Can I use my ride Pokemon? I can. It kind of kills the mood because of the, um, the fact that the music changed. How do I make the music come back? Come back, music! Come back! Come on! I just need to get to the end of the tunnel. Here we are. That's a way to make the music come back, to exit and re-enter or whatever. Yo, are you sure there is nothing to see here? What am I looking at right now? Bruh. Bruh. Uh-uh-uh-uh. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I definitely need to get out of here. What am I doing here? Yo. I know exactly what that is. Where is the moon one, though? Where is that at? Yo. Hello. It's so weird how the sun one is here, but yeah, I'll never understand how they work their stuff. All right, so let's get off of this. Uh, wait, there we go. And now, is this a uh, Po Town? Route 17. Jeez, when are we getting a Po Town? Oh my god, are we never getting a Po Town? Oh my lord. Yeah, there's a lot of Team Skull Grunts here, so this entire route is um, infiltrated by Team Skull, which can only mean that Potown is up ahead. But I guess we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.